Hey guys, here's a 360 of our neighborhood here on Turtleback. It's a handsome elevation on the house. A little bit of road noise. I take it from I-70, which is just north of us here. But it's a real solid neighborhood from what I can tell here. Side yard over here. We'll get more of the backyard, of course, which is what you're really about. And then I'll do a quick walk through here. Obviously, you feel free to stop the video anytime you want. That's the, we can go pretty fast here because uh, you do have that ability to kind of freeze frame if you need it. Entryway. It's kind of a formal layout here on the first floor with formal living room here. Get down here. Nice window. Stairway here. This is where some of the bedrooms go. The master is on the first floor, obviously, in this house. Over here's a small blur, kind of a, I take it as a sitting room, an office, again with a boxed out window here, which is nice. Then we go back into our hallway here. Basement, which we'll see in a second. Half bath on the first floor. Here's into the main living area. This is a relatively small room, guys. It's probably 14 by 12, 14 by 13, something like that. Again, with the vaults, though, nice ceiling treatments. And our kitchen. Again, vaulted ceilings. Breakfast area. Relatively large number of cabinets. And then we circle back around here, and there's a relatively large formal dining room. And this is actually as big as the family room, probably. Take a quick look out in the backyard, which I know is important. Covered porch. Backyard. Nice buffer area in the back here. Can't see anything. I don't know what will go on with, with the foliage. We lose the foliage. Again, a little bit of road noise. Nothing. Certainly not like a, being next to the highway or anything, but you can definitely hear it in the background. Everything's in nice condition from what I can tell here, guys. It's a cedar product on the exterior. And let's take a quick look in the basement here. I don't think this was finished, but just for the heck of it. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but try to get all these things in one shot because uh, otherwise the files get too complex, complex and you got to sew them together and all that. So yeah, unfinished area down here. Lighting is not quite what we need it to be, but trying to find the switches as I go. Yeah, un again, unfinished. There's a crawl space entrance up there to part of the house. So this is a partial basement with just some storage area and obviously the utility space which is in here which there we go. Uh, nothing remarkable about the furnace. It's a regular 80% furnace. Water heater. Humidifier there. So the basement's relatively unremarkable, but it's nice to have a place to 
just two rooms of storage and a, and a mechanical area is really all that it is. So here we go upstairs. Back to the front area. Of course, our stairway is right here off the entryway. Oh, I missed the master. Oh, nice job. <laughs> Sitting area here at the front. Spare bedroom here. At the top of the stairs. So two bedrooms and a little balcony area here, which looks down into our living area, kitchen. Here's kind of a vacant bedroom. Twelve by twelve, something like that, size twelve by eleven. Not gigantic, but certainly what you need for it, yeah. Or a guest room, all you need. And I think all I'm missing here is the master. Oops. The master's actually tucked away back here. Can't even, oh, I missed it the first time through. There's a little alcove back in here. It's a gas fireplace. The master is nice size. This is probably 15 by 14, 16 by 14, something like that. So it's take uh, triple dressers and a King size bed for sure. Bathroom with uh, double closets here. Double sinks. Tub. And John right here. Very nice condition, generally speaking, guys. There's some knickknacks here and there, but um, I think that gives you an idea of what uh, what is going on here on Turtleback. It's an interesting neighborhood. It's location is the only thing suspect as far as getting to where you want to go. I don't know how much you're going to move around. Uh, I-70 is very close, so that's going to be the good news. Is um, but I'll, you can figure all that out from, from your Googles and your uh, other information sources. But that's it from Dayton, Ohio. Talk to you guys soon.